Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today I want to show you this RV right here. It was originally created by L Warrior, who is a German friend of mine. And if you want to see this tutorial in German, you can head over to his channel and check it out there. The link is below. But now let's get started with the tutorial. So for that, you're going to need some blocks of coal, which you're going to space out just like that. And then you're going to have four blocks in the middle here. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. And then another one there. That's going to be the wheels. And on top of these wheels, we're going to put some buttons or on the sides, not on the top, because on the top is going to go some quartz blocks. We can already place them. But in the middle here, uh, let's just say this is the front right here. We will place some nether brick slabs. You can use three or four. Doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever amount you want because you won't see the slab anyway. You could leave it out entirely if you're a daredevil. But I'm just going to place some nether brick there and then I'm going to use some quartz slabs to fill out this entire area back here going way up to the wheels here and then one back. So we should be having something like this or like this from the top. So now we want to um, place quartz all around here. Uh, no, don't destroy it just like that build a nice frame out of quartz and then go on top of here and place another quartz block right in the middle there. So now we have this strip right here, which is going to be our interior of this awesome RV. All right. Now for the uh, window, we're going to place some uh, black glass. Yeah, this is black glass, but you can use whatever color you want. You could use some yellow glass if you are fancy like that, but I'm just gonna go with the regular black, but I guess other colors would look good as well. So these are our mirrors and then we want some black glass here and here and here and same thing on the other side and then one at the back here so we can look out. All right, the frame is going to be quartz again. So we're going to place that all around here where there are empty spots. And then for the roof, we are going to use some more uh, of these blocks just like that six right here. And then we're going to place some stairs, quartz stairs as well. This is a quartz heavy build and um, just make a frame like this out of quartz slabs again. So you have something like that from this side. It looks like that looks a little bit dumb right now, but we'll make it look absolutely gorgeous in just a moment. And now you have this two wide gap and you're going to fill that in, not with quartz, but this time with some stone slabs that adds a little bit of variation and may look like air vents or something. It just looks better to not have a blank white uh, canvas there, but actually have some color inside of it. And that's what the stone slabs are for. Nothing else than that. All right. So now uh, we'll take some more stairs just like that. And then we'll go around the corner and that is going to form a nice roof and protection for our windshield and then another quartz block right in the middle here. So that's how it's looking right now. Let's give you a side shot like that should be looking something like this. And these are the sides. This is how it looks from above. Nothing too complicated yet, but now we'll add some details. Those aren't complicated as well. Uh, for those, we need some weighted pressure plates, an iron one right here on the front, then some wooden buttons, a ladder as well, and also a trapdoor. Come on, wooden trapdoor. There we go. And signs are also necessary to complete this build. All right, uh, we'll take this ladder here as some sort of grill or something. And these right here are headlights. Now I know there are other options to build headlights like this, but El Warrior and I uh, decided on using these wooden buttons because they just look best. You could also use some item frames with uh, sea lanterns or something in them, but we thought this looked the best. All right. And then for a number plate, we're just going to place a sign there. You could write something on it, but I don't have the time to do that right now. Then for some door handles, we're also going to place these buttons right there. And then for the back, we're going to place them right. Wait, let me take a sneak peek. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right here. Those are the lights. And then there's going to be a wooden trapdoor right there. And that ladder is going to be right here. So you know how uh, regular or real RVs have this ladder where you can climb up to the roof. That's basically what this is. So nice additions. And now the last thing that we want to do is add a number plate at the back here really important. If you're in the EU, for example, you have to have number plates on either side of the car. Uh, in America, as I 
um, encountered it or saw it. Number plates aren't that important on both sides of the car, but in the EU that is. And we're here with EU standards, right? Well, all right. I'll just ramble about EU while you build this. All right, this is um, pretty much done now. Pretty cool. This is how it looks from the back now. Here's another side shot. Here's the front. And gonna be here's the other side. Nothing too complicated. Now, of course, you need to build the surroundings. What I did here is just build some towers out of sand. It uh, is a little bit cheaty because there's nothing behind here. But if you build this legitimately, of course, you want to build something nicer than this. But this is just to give you an inspiration. And of course, you don't have to do it in a desert either. All right, that's pretty much it. Check out L Warrior. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. It's free. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.